supporting local right now is more important than ever. So today, ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska takes us on a tour of a blackberry farm to see how 500 pounds of blackberries are helping launch a new farm to brewery concept. They needed quite a few berries, and uh, we couldn't provide that many in any one given day right. and still provide the public what we have been over the years. So I didn't want to shortchange my customers right. for new business. I won't do that. Right. So we picked them and froze them and a little bit each time, and then we got what they needed. It will completely cover this eventually. Bramble Creek Farms in Hernando County is a hidden paradise owned and operated by Gene Altman and his wife, Ann. And there are the berries. Wow. Married for 42 years, they each have their roles running the You Pick Blackberry Farm. Gene in the fields. I look at it, he's my little babies. And in the shop. And the reason I like this uh, honey, it's a raw honey, it's not cooked. He filters it just to get the junk out of it. The farm's so popular, people drive in from all over the state to pick the Altman's delicious blackberries. Local breweries are noticing the quality too. It must feel good to know that your blackberries are going to be enjoyed by people that enjoy drinking beer. Yes, <laughs> it is. It's, it's, uh, we're fortunate to, that we can do a farm, not necessarily the table, but to the table that you're going to have your beer sitting on. So farm to brewery, if you will. I know exactly the quality I'm getting from, from him. Um, uh, and also, you know, I'd rather give Gene money than, you know, somebody else that I don't know. Sam Schwartz is the director of brewing operations at Coppertail Brewing, and before their new beer hit a keg or a can, Schwartz gave the Altmans an exclusive tasting of the new Florida Vice infused with his blackberries. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Good. Cheers. Good. So we had that lemon zest because we just like the way it really interacts with blackberry. And your blackberries, man, we were trying them. We couldn't get the team to stop eating them. That was the biggest problem because they were just like so refreshingly sweet. Good. good, very good, refreshing. It's a great summer beer. You know, it's really important for us to have that relationship with the grower where we can in Florida. And you know, someone like blackberries, you know, you can taste Gene's blackberries and just, it's not like anything you're buying at the grocery store. It really is just way different, whether that's the Florida terroir, you know, his soil, or just the amount of time that he gives to each individual plant. It should save them some money to get a better product. We're reducing the carbon footprint, so it's a good win-win for everybody. They're called Zeboos. Back at the farm, we saw the Altman's spirit of sharing firsthand and how they support local from the items in their store, like these handmade wind chimes. We just thought they were re very unique. Yeah. And why not offer a guy a good start on what someone could appreciate for a long time? To their neighbor's cows grazing their pasture, the connection they have with animals, the land, and nature is the future of the farm. Pride, yes. I take a lot of pride in our props, our property. I've always viewed a, a producer as the first environmentalist um, because we have to take care of the ground or the ground will not take care of us. In Hernando County with photojournalist Reed Moeller, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.